we have a winner! They're sights and sounds that are quintessentially New York. But thanks to the pandemic, we've been without them for 529 days. Until now. We the first one. Cynthia Bland and Dylan Douglas were the first people in the gate at Luna Park in Coney Island. I'm so happy. I can't wait to go on my first ride. On these swings, which are among rides that look different this year, Dylan was the only rider at first. But all of the amusements here are socially distanced. And there's hand sanitizer at each. And the park is allowed to be at 33% capacity only. But even with restrictions... It was awesome! One satisfied customer. And he was by no means the only one. We're glad to be back. Yes. To bring back the joy of our baby. And memories in our childhood, Brooklyn! Woo! The reopening came after an official ceremony. New York City will come back. The mayor made a proclamation honoring the Wonder Wheel's 100th anniversary and also honored Luna Park for coming back. Main seasons between Memorial and Labor Day, I, I believe it will be in a higher capacity. Another restriction, you do have to reserve admission before you come. Oh my God, why did I agree to do this? But I did learn firsthand on what I consider the scariest ride. Oh God, oh God! that they're designed for screaming. No! No! Now, let's point out that when amusement parks reopened in Japan during the pandemic, no screaming was allowed. Clearly, that's not the case here. Something else that's come back, 1,200 jobs here at Coney Island. That's a big plus. And lastly, let's mention this. The Wonder Wheel, yes, celebrating 100 years. It was set up here as a symbol of New York coming back from the worldwide flu pandemic a century ago. Many here saying that this is a symbol that New York is back yet again. Reporting live from Coney Island, I'm James Ford, Pix11 News.